Well, we're here at Norton Sales, Inc., which is where all the NASA surplus div is. NASA has got balls, as you can see here, to tell us that all that technology is gone because NASA technology has been sitting here in surplus for over 40 years. They say, oh, Don Pettit, it's been a painful process. Well, they scrapped every inch of the stuff at the end of every program, whether it be Gemini, whether it be Apollo, um, and each program, that when they scrap it, they scrap the entire building. Look, these are start and starts, valves, switches, flanges. Um, they scrap the entire building, and this place has been buying stuff for years and years and years. And uh, Don Pettit's like, oh, no, this technology is gone. Wendell, look at this piece when you get a chance. Okay. And um, there's all kinds of boards circuits, test equipment. Here we're just seeing things marked thermostats and um, and all kinds. I mean, it's just a, every gauge, every switch. And this is really stuff from Kraft. I, I, I don't mind telling you we're looking at real rocket parts. You're looking at um, actual real stuff that NASA says is long, long gone. So you're looking at a lot of test equipment, everything from uh, temperatures, pressures. It's a lot of things that are dealing with uh, cooling and look, look like distillers. And uh, look at that clump of wires right there. So this is your famous lost technology that uh, NASA no longer has. Look at that CRT. That is beautiful. Yeah, this is the stuff. And... Uh, some of it's antique, you can tell. You can certainly tell the input, that. But it's pretty fun stuff to look at. And uh, there's your NASA emblem right there. And this is, even says it's a lunar module booster system PRM assembly. That even says what it was right there. So it's pretty cool to see stuff like this in real life. Like I said, they say it's painstaking process to get this stuff back. But I don't find it that painstaking. As a matter of fact, it's right around the corner from my house. We're at a place called Norton Sales. And it is in North Hollywood. It's online as Norton Sales, Inc. Their scrap surplus yard. Been here for many, many, many years. And there's some, some great classic equipment here. A lot of it's used for, uh, for sets and rentals these days. But I doubt the fact that the lost technologies are that hard to deal with when you're really looking around. It's not that hard. It really isn't. the neighborhood near Rocketdyne in Canoga Park, so it was really no surprise to me. I used to hear these rockets go off all the time. There's some cutaway designs here, interesting enough, impellers, a peroxide shutoff valve. Definitely some interesting stuff and um, good representation of uh, what happens when programs shut down. So they literally scrap this stuff. It's not very surprising. The surprising part is it's right around the corner from my house. Just look at the complexity oh, of this Jesus. cooling mechanism. Oh, Jesus, this would be like this. I know, huh? Lucky. I, I'm always lucky. Do you have a little mini docky just coming wow. in here? What is that? Some kind of film thing. Uh, it's gauging something. It looks like thermometers. This right here? Yeah. That looks like mercury. Mm -hmm. That's 
it's probably a standard temperature there, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is uh, your space program, gentlemen. Yeah. What was the amount of 